Hey guys, it's Cybernetic610, and as promised, I am showing you guys how to make a virtual uh, Yu-Gi-Oh card binder. Of course, you can make uh, these binders for other card games as well, but I'm just going to show you guys how to do it with Yu-Gi-Oh. Alright, uh, first off, you have to have an account here at Card or Trade, and, uh, and then just go to My Profile. I'll just walk you through on mine. I'll even create a binder real quick. You can only create four binders. See, I only have three. And... I believe he's changed it. Uh, we're always upgrading it, by the way. But I believe now you can have up to 40 pages in a binder, so that's about the size of a monster binder, or the size of my monster binder. I'm, I'm not sure if they're all the same or what. I figure they are. And that, So, yeah, it's going to be really cool on that, and you can have your whole collection. Right, now you just enter the title. Uh, I don't know. Yukio Binder. I don't know, just put something just simple is what I'm putting. You put that it is Yu-Gi-Oh! When you start collecting, um, I'm not 100% sure when I started. So I, I usually kind of put like, oops, I usually put around like the beginning of 2000 because I think it was kind of around in there. I don't know the exact date. And guests can view this binder. I suggest doing that. That way people that aren't on the website can check it out too. And you just save changes. Wait a sec. Hopefully my internet's not too slow. Here we go. Alright, uh, now you just go to uh, edit. Or, uh, sorry, customize. Be grief. You can tell I'm kind of new at this still, too. You can choose a background color. There's these colors. You can choose a picture. I uh, have my like background thing. I'm not going to show you guys how to do that. That should be pretty easy. And then you just save changes, of course. Now, to actually add the cards, just go here. And you'll see you have like a binder. This will be, you know, like the first page of it. And I'm just going to type in a random Yu-Gi-Oh card. Let's see. Um, I'm trying to think of some cards. I don't have all. We don't have all the cards in the database yet, but we're working on it. And uh, I'm trying to think of one that I have. It's hard to just think of one. Uh, Damage Gate. How about that? I know that one's in there. Yep, there it is. All right, you can just add it right there. If it's like the front page of your binder, and you can have that. And uh, let's see, what's another one? Uh, Dark Deceraptor, I believe that's pronounced. Let's see, just search that. I didn't click the button. There you go. And there you are. And you can also, you know, choose what sheet you want it on. Sheet is a page, you know, so you can just add more pages as you go. And you can see, you can just switch in between them. You can move cards. You can uh, duplicate cards. Different things like that. That way you can say that you have more than one of that card. And it's pretty cool setup. You know, because like that, see, I said that I duplicated, I clicked that button. So, uh, let's see, there we go. You can duplicate like that. And then since I put that in there, it says two cards. And it will be the same way whenever you go to the actual binder. When someone puts their mouse over it, it will say uh, two cards. So that can come in handy as well. You can also move the cards. You can remove them, all kinds of stuff. So yeah, it's really cool setup. And like I said, whenever I get all the cards uploaded... It's going to be really neat. I, I do not own the website, of course. So if you have any technical issues, uh, please contact the owner. Uh, if you have any questions, though, please leave that in the comments. So I'll try to help you guys out. And if there's like a card you just dying to have in your virtual binder, uh, I might be able to just kind of upload it real quick for you if you ask nicely. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going through the sets, though. I have like the beginning of Crimson Crisis. You know, Duel's Revolution to the beginning of Crimson Crisis. After I get all the sets, you know, all the way down to Legend of Blue Eyes, then I will start adding, uh, like, starter deck cards, you know, that were, like, uh, I'm trying to think of one on top of my head, so that Smorg, that was in the the Wind structure deck, like, for example, he wasn't in any of the sets of cards, so, of course, I will add him in later, and promo cards, like Gores, although I think I have added Gores, but other promo cards, 10 promos, etc and i will also try to get a star strike blast on there as soon as i get some high quality pictures of the cards and i don't even think we have the whole list yet of those so yeah it's really cool it's just going to get cooler by the minute i suggest signing up and uh check out my articles let's see i think it's up by now if not i'll show you one of the other ones i wrote uh it's not up yet but sh here are a few of my other articles let's see uh like star strike blast coming out very soon i kind of talk about some of the new cards coming out and different things like that. I will also have some like written discussions as well. And I talk about Decade Duels, of course, which I'm still excited about. Can't wait to get that tomorrow and play that. And so, yeah, I plan to have all kinds of cool articles there. You can leave comments at the bottom and things like that.
and uh, also this won't change anything with my YouTube channel. I'm just you know, for people that might be worried about something like that, changes nothing. I'm just gonna be working with these guys too, and I'm still working with City of Gamers, of course, and I'm gonna be working on my website. So yeah, really cool. Any ideas? you know, on anything, uh, please leave in the comments as well. Like I said, though, any questions about the website, how to do something, I will try to help you. Just leave that in the comments. Okay? And, uh, yeah, that's everything. Please subscribe for the latest Yu-Gi-Oh! news and all the cool Yu-Gi-Oh! technology. Bye, guys.